Welcome to the Dog Advisory Council, a trusted resource for dog owners and enthusiasts. Today we will be talking about the pros and cons of clicker training. There's more than one way to train your dog. Some go with the traditional route of commands and treats, and others go with the idea of a clicker. Clicker training has pros and cons to it, both for dogs and humans. The pros for clicker training include an easier understanding of what the rewarded behavior is and ease of hearing the click in multiple environments. There's lots of research out there on the topic to guide you too. The cons for clicker training include difficulty in adapting, and that it isn't useful for correcting bad behaviors in training. Depending on your approach, your dog, and your relationship with him, there are some seriously good things about clicker training. A full list of pros include Easier connection between the behavior and the reward. Faster training overall. Easy sound to hear in multiple environments. Can be used by multiple people. Easier connection between the behavior and the reward. A dog learns to obey you by understanding what you're looking for him to do. That is, as much as we claim otherwise, a dog doesn't understand, sit, as, sit on your bum bum and wait for me. He understands, sit, as a gibberish command for, if I put my butt on the floor, I get a treat. The dog connects the click and the treat as the reward for sitting. If you give him the treat without the click, he may not make the connection between the treat and action, making it harder for you to get him to sit again when you give him the same command with no treat in sight. A clicker is also great for helping speed up his training as well. In fact, research suggests that it actually can speed up the training timeline itself. So, whether you're working with a puppy or an adult, this can be a huge positive to steer you towards clicker training. Where a human voice telling him, good boy, or, yes, may differ in tone, inflection, emotion, and more, a clicker is a mechanical noise. It's the same tone, volume, and overall sound every single time it's different. So, used as positive reinforcement, it's unmistakable and easier for your pet to find amongst the distractions in new environments. There's also the fact that we use these command words all the time in regular conversation and it can confuse your dog if he overhears you. We've all had the misfortune of saying, walk, and our dog goes nuts because he thinks he gets to go for a walk. As long as the clicker is used consistently from person to person, more than one person can train your dog using a clicker. In a busy household with kids, extracurriculars, and general life, this can be helpful since everyone can take a share of the load. There are some cons and downsides to clicker training for your dog, though, that you'll want to understand in deciding whether or not it's right for you and your dog. The full list here would include Has to be used consistently and properly. A clicker is actually a very precise instrument that must be used properly to make sure that the dog is understanding what it means and how it relates to his behavior. This means that every trainer has to use it the same way, every single time to prevent confusion. This can be challenging in a household with kids. It can't be used to stop bad behaviors or training. A clicker is not a remote control. If your dog is barking, you can't click at him and expect him to stop. The clicker is not, in and of itself, a command. In fact, it's more than likely going to teach him that barking is a good thing. While you can use the clicker, this example, to teach him what he should be doing, it isn't a mute button on a remote to get him to stop. It takes practice to get right. The clicker itself is a pretty tricky piece of equipment. Before you even think of training your dog using it, you'll have to train yourself how to use it so that you can click at the exact right time every single time that you want to use it. You'll also have to learn where and how you want to use it. It isn't a replacement for treats or positive reinforcement. You can't use a clicker to replace a yes or good boy or a treat. The click is combined with a treat or positive cue so that your dog associates both with a positive behavior that they're doing. All things considered, research suggests that clicker training is more effective with a verbal command. When paired with positive reinforcement such as a good boy, or a treat, it takes less time for a dog to learn what the positive behavior is when compared to training with just treats or with positive reinforcement combined with the command. The conclusion, here, is that the clicker is an easier signal for the dog to understand, and it still has to be used correctly. When you are training your dog, you should use a clicker until the dog connects the command to the behavior without hesitating. 
Once that's done, you can switch to a random reinforcement. This means that sometimes you'll click and treat, and sometimes you won't. You'll have to ease your dog into this gradually, of course, but using random reinforcement is much more productive than clicking and treating every single time. That being said, some things will always require a clicker. For instance, if you choose to click train when getting a dog to allow you to brush his teeth, get his shots at the vet, or handle his ears, these tasks can change and adjust so much, that you may always have to use a clicker to make sure he obeys you. As with a lot of details with dogs, take your time, and see what feels best for you and your dog. There are a few times in which you may decide that clicker training just isn't working for you or your dog, and you need to switch methods. The most likely situation that will have you turn to other training ways is that either you or your dog has a strong negative reaction to the sound. If the sound scares or disturbs either of you, it won't be a good training tool. You can try a few clickers to see if another one is better, but if they scare or upset him, try another training method. The other reason to stop clicker training is if you find that it is reinforcing the wrong behaviors. In this case, you most likely are using it wrong and you'll need to take some time to figure out how to do it the right way to get the behavior you're looking for. Click the link in the description below if you want to learn more tips for using the clicker properly, how to potty train your dog with a clicker, and how to use a clicker to retrain bad behavior. If the information in this video was useful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.